Lesson 3, Finding Icons. In this lesson, we'll take a look at a general strategy for finding icons on the new Excel 2007 ribbon. I'll show you my tip card that will map the old items to the new items. We'll take a look at, if you're completely desperate, how to use either Excel 2003 menu or the Quick Access Toolbar Customize dialog box to find the command. And we'll take a look at the Classic Excel menu add-in. Alright, so you're trying to figure out where all of the various icons are. And we know that this is the file menu up here, but often you're going from tab to tab to tab to try and figure out where various things are. For example, pivot tables, they certainly belong here on the data tab, but they're not. Maybe they're on home, because home contains all the important things, but again, they're not. I have no idea why they ended up as the first icon on the insert tab. It's almost like they wanted to put it on the Home tab because it was important, but they ran out of space along the right-hand side, and so it ended up on the Insert menu. I'm not sure. And so it seems that often we're hunting from item to item to item. Well, one of the ideas that I had was to create a visual map that would show the old menu and map it to the new menu. So if you go out to Mr. Excel, on my Excel 2007 resource page, and I'll put this URL in the booklet, there are a variety of resources, including a tip card about Excel 2007. Now here's the tip card. Basically, it shows all of the Excel 2003 menus, but I've added a little swatch of color here next to every menu item. At the bottom of the tip card is the new Excel 2007 ribbon that has been color-coded. So for example, this item on the data menu is in green, it's found on the data menu. But here, this item is in yellow, so it's found on the Insert menu. Print this out in color, and you'll have a quick view of exactly where things can be found on the ribbon. Now, if you don't want to use the tip card, another idea is if you have a computer that's running Excel 2003, you can always launch Excel 2003 and take a look at the keyboard accelerators. Here's a picture of the Excel 2003 format column auto fit selection. And you'll notice that the O in Format is underlined, as well as the C in Column, and the A in Auto Fit Selection. That means in Excel 2007, you can hold down Alt-O-C-A to execute this command. And put in some long text here. And sure enough, if we do Alt-O-C, and then A, Excel will implement the command. Another way to find things is to go and customize the Quick Access Toolbar. Instead of choosing Popular Commands, choose All Commands, and now you have a complete alphabetical list of every command there is. When you hover above a command, it'll tell you that it's on the Home tab in the Cells group under Auto Fit Row Height. Well, that gives us a clue of where to go look, so we can click Cancel, go to the Home tab, in the Cells group, and sure enough, there's Auto Fit Column Width. Of course, it would be very frustrating to go back to the Quick Access Toolbar Customize every time you're trying to find an icon, but if you simply can't find it, that is one method to get there. Now, legend has it that when Bill Gates saw this new interface, he said to the Office team, well, this is going to be great, but you're going to have a classic mode, right? And the Office team convinced Bill that it would just simply be impossible to have a classic mode. This is too different, and they didn't want people relying on the old menus in order to get back. The product shipped on January 30th, 2007, and not two months went by before a couple of companies came out with add-ins that bring the old Excel 2007 menus back. One of my favorites is called Classic Excel Menus. It sells for $15.95 from addintools.com. I'll show you what their add-in does. Okay, welcome back. I just went out and I installed the add-in tools classic Excel menu. And you see, we still have home insert page layout formulas. However, we now have a brand new menu tab called menus. And here is file, edit, view, insert, format, tools, data, window, and help. And when we open these, we get back to as close as they could to the old Excel 2003 menu, where you can find everything that you need to find. They've also replicated the old standard and formatting toolbars. 
and so you can have a similar user experience to what you had in Excel 2003. For $15.95, I think that's a great deal, especially when you're under the gun and you need to get something done, you can switch back to the Excel 2003 menu mode and get things done quickly when you have more time and can explore, get used to the Excel 2007 ribbon tabs when you're not under a deadline and you have more time to figure out what's going on. Well, I hope you found that helpful and thanks for watching. Looking to advance your career by acquiring new skills? Tired of expensive off-site training programs? Wish you could learn from the best instructors in the industry? Look no further than Live Lessons. Self-paced, personal video instruction by the world's leading technology publishers. Each Live Lesson comes with a DVD featuring three to four hours of instructor-led classroom training, sample program code that allows you to work along with your personal instructor, and an example-rich study guide. Live lessons allow you to watch the entire course from start to finish or navigate directly to any of the individual lessons. You'll literally watch over the shoulder of your instructor as he shows you how to build state-of-the-art applications. Live lessons, the power of the world's leading technology experts at your fingertips. To learn more, visit MyLiveLessons.com today.